Now, mihi o te wā in the headlines, the Japanese embassy says the events of the February 2011 earthquake brought Japan and New Zealand together. The memorial service marking two years since the devastating quake was held in Christchurch's Latimer Square this afternoon. Meanwhile, Shigaru Ban, the Japanese architect responsible for building the ka cardboard cathedral, has been reviewing the project so far. He's been visiting Christchurch this week and has seen for himself the cardboard tubes that make up the sides of the cathedral being placed in position. Koe nei te rangi tuarua i te whakataetae ka pahaka motu mā te hunga pakeke o te matatini ki Rotorua. Te kau māwha ngā rōpū e uru ki te mūra o te ahi ki te pakanga mō te tehi tūnga ki roto i te kōwhiringa toa ka tū a te rā tapunei. Ahakoa wera na ngā mahi a hinerehia me ngā haka tāne rore ki runga i te papatū waiwai e noho poku tonu. Te maria i te rima te kau mātahi miniti pahi te te kau mārua karaka o te ahi ahi nei mō te miniti kotahi e whai whakāro mō te hunga i mate i te rūwhenua. About 70 Huntley miners turned up at a meeting today to discuss their futures. It comes after Solid Energy announced yesterday that it faces a debt of almost $400 million. The government has yet to decide whether it will bail out the company, but job losses and a restructure is likely. And the government's push to get more students into the likes of engineering study is working. Applications for Auckland University's Bachelor of Engineering program have reached record levels and the 2,283 potential students are also coming in with a higher level of marks than in the past. The numbers are up 9% from this time last year. In international news, China is distancing itself from claims it has been involved in hacking United States companies. A US security firm believes a Chinese military unit is behind the theft of massive amounts of data from more than 140 organisations ranging from financial companies to aerospace businesses. Mandiant says the Chinese government directly supports the operations, but China's defence ministry has denied any involvement. The delivery of census forms is on track, with census days set for Tuesday, March the 5th. Collectives have so far door-knocked just under 1 million homes and delivered over 3 million internet access codes and paper forms. And in sports, after a fairly flat opening round, four of the five New Zealand franchises are hoping to inject some excitement into Super Rugby this weekend. The defending champions... Chiefs and the highly touted Highlanders get things underway in Dunedin at 7.35pm tonight. Tomorrow night, the Hurricanes host the New Look Blues at Westpac Stadium in Wellington. Expectation on the Hurricanes is through the roof, while the Blues are in the opposite position, with most predicting them to be New Zealand's conference cellar dwellers. And finally, the Oscars will be presented Sunday night in Hollywood, and one of the nominees is a coming-of-age story set in Afghanistan. The Buzgaji Boys features two 12-year-olds who strive to realise their dreams in one of the most war-torn countries in the world. The nomination means a trip to Hollywood and a chance to meet their movie heroes. Ka mau te wehi. Koe rā ngā karere matua mai te whare kōrero o Rima, nō hora mai.